This is Twit. So, um, <laughs> not not surprising to our listeners, there has been a big breach of of texted second factor authentication, and everyone will remember when I uh, was setting up my Hover account that when I was offered a choice of time-based one-time passwords, uh, TOTP, versus texting, I didn't hesitate. I knew that time-based was more secure because the last thing I want is every time I need to authenticate to have that be an opportunity for some, some attacker to obtain that code. So it's much more secure to get it once over secure channel from you know when you're setting up your account and then use an uh, a, a TOTP authenticating app to dynamically produce the magic six digits. So what well, the problem, as we talked about back some time ago, is with SS7, the so-called signaling system seven, which is the very old technology still used today to interconnect more than 800 telecommunications companies. But as we've discussed, the system is so old that it lacks any kind of endpoint authentication. It is an entirely non-authenticated system. But despite that fact, we have taken to send we, the world, to sending secondary identity authentication factors through the unauthenticated mobile telecommunications Sorry. system. Yeah. <laughs> what Sorry. could possibly go wrong? Mm. So finally and foreseeably in January, attackers exploited these well-known SS7 weaknesses to bypass the second factor in authentication that banks were using to prevent unauthenticated or unauthorized withdrawals from online accounts. After first using traditional banking Trojan implants to perform the first stage of account compromise, which allowed them to learn account balances and get account information, they then selectively compromised the SS7 system to redirect the text verification messages banks used to verify funds withdrawals. So instead of those verification messages being delivered to the phones of the designated account holders, the text messages were delivered to numbers controlled by attackers who then used that both the the information gained from the banking Trojan and their interception of the, are you sure you want to transfer all the money out of your account confirmation code to do that? It's transferring them to their own accounts and making off with it. Wow. And these attacks were confirmed by the affected banks. 